Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do an example of a strip footing. We're going to be finding the immediate and final settlement. <clears throat> For this, for this video, we're looking at a point or a line inside the strip footing. I'll show you what that means in a second. To do this example, we have to find B on H or H on B. We then, given the Poisson's ratio, we'll find the I value using a graph like this, which is specific for, specifically for a strip footing. And then based on the I value, we can find the final, we can find either the initial or final settlement. So with a strip footing, we can define a strip footing. So this is in section. This is the uh, strip footing on the profile of soil. Now in plan, a strip footing has, say, a dimension of 10 meters, which is what we got, we got here. And relative to this dimension, this dimension is pretty much infinity. So it goes on forever. So in other words, this dimension is lo a lot longer than that dimension. Practically speaking, this could be something like an embankment where the, um, the, this dimension is much smaller than that dimension. So for a strip footing, like we did with a rectangle in a couple series ago, we had to split the rectangle up into corners. The strip footing is sort of similar. We have to split it up into not corners anymore, but edges. So we're going to do an example. We want to find the, uh, fi let's do the final first, the final settlement under the center the center line under the center line of our embankment. So in other words, we want to find the settlement through this center line, which is the center line of the embankment. So we have to split our embankment into two. And every shape we use has to be, has to have an edge. So no longer a corner, but an edge on that point on that line we're interested in. So if it's perfectly down the middle, we're going to have to split our shape up in, up like that where B is now equal to five meters. So B is that length and that length. So we're gonna do this case for B equals five. We're gonna